Hi, and thank you for purchasing the Virtual Studio 10 template pack. This project is compatible with Adobe After Effects version CS6 and above, and Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's take a look at how to customize it. First download the delivery zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up any project. Inside the project folder you will find an After Effects version of the template and the Premiere Pro version. So let's open up the AE version first. Inside the project you will find the 00 uChange folder which contains all the editable elements and the 00 main composition which is the main composition with all the scenes inside. So first let's open up the intro, double click on the intro composition to see the structure of the scene. The intro sequence has five different parts and the composition with the logo placeholder. There are a total of 12 image placeholders and four text holders that show in this section. All the texts and images are referenced on this guide layer and you can press the J and L keys to navigate between them. Next step, we'll need to import some media files. To do that, choose File, Import File, and import your images, videos, the talent footage, a logo file, and optionally an audio file. To change the images in a scene, open up the corresponding image composition by double-clicking on it. Drag and drop your image into the timeline. And delete or turn off the sample layers. To change the text, open up any composition and double click on the text layer to edit it. Now let's add the logo file. Open up the logo composition and drag your logo into the timeline. You can press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. Please make sure your logo is in PNG, PSD or any other format with transparency. Next, we'll move on to the main scenes and we'll open up Angle 06. Inside the composition you can choose between a table or a desk or you can have them both turned off. To add your presenter, double click on the talent composition, choose your talent footage and drag it into the timeline.
To add an image or a video into the scene, open up the image angle composition and add your media into the timeline. You can add videos or images. In other scenes, such as angle 15, you can choose between different window views. Next, let's move on to the lower thirds section. We have included two lower thirds. And if you need more, you can duplicate them, but please make sure to do that in the project panel. Select the composition and choose Edit, Duplicate. To change the text, simply double click and enter your own text. And finally, you can drag the lower third into the timeline of the main composition. The transitions work similarly, just choose one and drag it into the timeline like this. Each scene can be extended to up to one hour by dragging the end position of the layer. If you want to add an audio file, simply drag it into the main composition. To render this project, select the main composition and choose Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. The default preset, Mesh Source High Bitrate will get you good results. You just need to click under the output file to set the destination path of your video and then click on the green play button to start rendering. Thank you for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll take a look at editing the Premiere Pro version of this template.